So we had a look at gradients and I did mention that we can use multiple backgrounds. So how does this look like? For the background shorthand or also with multiple background image and color assignments, we can set multiple backgrounds for one and the same element. This of course only makes sense if the backgrounds have some form of transparency to them, be that images with transparent parts or gradients with transparent colors. Otherwise you will only see the topmost background. But you can add multiple backgrounds. Important though, only one solid color can be used and it will always be the bottom most background. You can use how many background images you want to use though. You're not limited regarding that. You can add multiple background images and keep in mind gradients count as images. So let's see this in action our project. Back there on the starting page I'll get rid of the ugly radial gradient and I'll reintroduce the shorthand with the image. Now I will use a background color of gray like a as a fallback or maybe our red color actually which we had before. So that's a fallback in case the image can't be loaded. And I also want to add a linear gradient. Now we can add a linear gradient with the linear gradient function here and it will be stacked on top of that image because I write it prior to that image. So you'll read it left to right basically. Now one important thing though, your different background images have to be separated with commas and so you do have to do for the background color. And that even shouldn't come here because after the color here, we got a couple of important properties which position that image. And they would refer to that background color right now. Actually this would be a syntax error. So what we have to do is remove that solid color and add a comma after our other shorthand properties. Because you separate your different layers with commas and the solid color is no exception from that rule. And then you can set the other shorthand properties for that given background. So you can set and you would have to set different background properties for the linear gradient because these ones here only apply to that image. So every comma separated list has its own set of background properties so to say. Now for the first background I only want to have the gradient though so this doesn't matter but that is why the positioning is important and why the commas are important. Back to that gradient. For this gradient I want to transition to the top so I want to start at the bottom and I want to go from a light transparent gray to a fully transparent look. So I will start with RGBA and then I will use 80, 68, 18. That will be a brownish grayish color which fits the general color theme of the image to a fully transparent look. But here I also add 60% opacity only so that we have some transparency. And then again I go to full transparency. Now we'll also add a color stop. So before the comma, after my RGBA function, I'll add 10% so that I don't have an even transition, but that I leave my color here relatively early. With that, if we save that and we reload, we actually see that the bottom now also has this light golden brownish look. To make this even clearer, let me temporarily set this to zero to have a fully transparent element here. Now we're back to the original black here for the bottom. And now let's revert this to dot six. Now if I reload, you see we have that golden touch here at the bottom too. And that's the look I wanted. And here you see both a linear gradient in action as well as the stacking of backgrounds in action. Again, this only makes sense as either a fallback as here for our solid color or if your topmost backgrounds have some transparent elements Otherwise, well, you won't see the background beneath them. And that's it for the backgrounds. We had a detailed look at gradients and now also at that very important stacking where the syntax matters if you use the shorthand, use the commas, don't forget them, and assign the properties to the background you want to assign them to. Each background has its own set of background properties. And if you don't set them, the defaults will be used.